Uh, first Kings 1821. Hey, cause uh, just like you said, man, where's your guys? <laughs> Call upon them that they may save you, man. That's what you people are gonna be doing, man. You're gonna be calling upon all your little idols, calling your false gods to save you, and you're just gonna get put to death. That's right. And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long halt ye between two opinions? That's right, man. How long are you gonna be double minded, man? That's right. So if the Lord be God, follow him. That's right, man. If Yahweh by me outside be the one and only power, follow him. But you can't because you don't know him. Because you don't want to listen when he's calling out to you. You don't want to take that hand once he stretches it forth, man. So you can't follow him. But if ba Baal, then follow him. That's who you people worship nowadays, man. You worship Baal. Nimrod, the same God, man. They all the same thing, man. I'm in the rock. Zeus, Obama, <laughs> Jesus, man. They're all the same idol, man. Nothing new is under the sun, man. The same idols from the ancients are back today, man. Just, just with different, different names. Right. Just like your spirit is back today, just with a different flesh and a different name. That's right. Same thing with these idols, man. That same demonic spirit is back in a different figure, with a different name, with a different uh, uh, paganistic custom to, to worship them. That's right. That's all. And, uh, says, uh, and the people answered him not a word. Right. Then said Elijah unto uh, the people, I, even I only, remain a prophet of the Lord. And really, he was wrong about that. Okay. But for all his prophets are 450 men. That's right, because when he had said that, the Lord corrected him too in another point in time. And said, uh, what is it? He has 7,000 men that have not bowed down their knees to Baal. That's right. Meaning he had a complete number of prophets, man, that wasn't going to go with this society, man. That's right. Nor the society before it. And those prophets are here today, man. Elijah's here today. Elisha's here today. Jeremiah, Isaiah, Amos, Habakkuk, Zephaniah. All the prophets are here today, man, That's to right. condemn this wicked ass nation, man. That's right. And we're gonna be out here condemning this place until this place get destroyed, man. That's right. Until you people get destroyed with it. That's right. 23. Let them therefore give us two bullets and let them choose one bullet for themselves and cut, cut it into pieces and lay it on wood and put no fire under. And I will dress the other bullet and I will lay it on wood and put no fire under. That's right. So basically he was, they were setting up altars to sacrifice an offering to their gods. While Elijah was sent up an altar to sacrifice an offering to Yah by Shim Yah man. Right. The one true living power. Go ahead. It's a, uh, 24. And call ye on the name of your God. So he said, You call on the name of your God, just like the, mo the most I told you to do when, when, when shit hits the fan. Go ahead. He said, and, and I will call on the name of the Lord. And I'm going to call upon Yahweh. That's right, man. And the God that answered by fire. Let him be God. And the power that comes down to consume this offering through fire, let him be the living power, man. And all the people answered and said, it is well spoken. Hey, so all the people agree. All right, you got you a deal. Mm -hmm. Watch this shit. We about to, yeah. we about to show him who that but all is. He, he reigns truth on earth. Right, right. Let's see. And Elijah said unto the prophets of Baal, choose you one bullet for yourselves and dress it first that ye are many and call on your, the name of your gods, put no, but put no fire under. That's right, so hey, go ahead, get the offering ready. It's a lot of y'all, so your gods should hear you, man. So yep. call upon the name of your gods, since there's so many of you. Hey, but don't put no fire under it, though. Because cause the, the guy, he got he to gotta consume it himself. And they took the bullet which was given them, and they dressed it and called on the name of Baal from morning until, until noon. Hey, so, but that was calling upon for all from the morning to the noontime. Go ahead. It says, saying, Oh, but all, hear us. But there was no voice, nor, nor any that answered. And that's what's going to be happening, man. Y'all going to be calling upon God, Jesus, Allah. But y'all ain't going to hear shit, man. Y'all ain't going to hear no response. Go ahead. It says, uh, And they leaped upon the altar which was made. <laughs> and it came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked them and said, cry aloud for he is a God. Either he is talking <laughs> or he is pursuing or he is in a journey 
or peradventure he's sleeping. Hey, 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 man, it cry louder, man. Yeah, cry <laughs> louder, man. He might be talking to somebody, or he might went on vacation somewhere. Hey, he might be asleep. He might can't hear you, man. Call a little bit louder. He might wake up. Go ahead. And he and they cried aloud and cut themselves after the manner with uh, with knives and lances till the blood gushed out upon them. That's right. And it came to pass. When midday was passed, and the pro and they prophesied until the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice, that there was no neither voice. Hey, so they was doing this from morning to the night, man. Right. That's over a 12-hour period that was calling on this false god, man. And you couldn't even get a response in the voice. The nigga didn't even answer the phone for the ass. <laughs> His kept letting it ring. That there was no neither voice nor any answer nor any that regarded. That's right. And Elijah said unto all the people, come near unto me, and all the people came near unto him. All right, now come around me. What? And he repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down. And Elijah took 12 stones according to the number of tribes of the sons of Jacob. That's right, the 12 tribes of Israel, man. Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans from Judah on down to Issachar, man. Took 12 stones of representation a few 12 tribes, man, because that's our power. That's right. That's our God, man. Yahweh Shimei al Shai is for us. Yeah. It says, uh, uh, according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob, unto whom the word of the Lord came. Uh, unto whom the word of the Lord came. Not Edom, not uh, Ishmael, not Moab, not Ammon, not Japheth. Unto Jacob, unto Israel, pursuing the Psalms. Psalm one forty-seven and nineteen. It says, "He shows his word unto Jacob." His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. So it said he showed his words unto Jacob, Israel, his statutes and judgment unto Israel. You Negro Latinos and the Native Americans. That's who the Lord showed his judgments and his laws to. It says he has not dealt so with any nation. And as far as his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Right. So no other nation on the face of this earth has known the Lord as you Negro Latinos and Native Americans have known the Lord. But yet you don't know the Lord no more. Why? Because you took on the customs of these other nations who didn't know the Lord in the first place. So you basically demoted yourselves. Right. You brought yourselves to the level of these other nations. When we were above these other nations. And Elijah's about to prove it to you. Back in 31, the top it says, And Elijah took 12 stones according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob, unto whom the, the word of the Lord came, saying, Israel shall be thy name. That's right. With the, and with the stones he built an altar in the name of the Lord, in the name of Yahweh. Hey, and he built the altar after the law. They weren't hewn stones. They were home stones. Because you ain't supposed to hew an altar, man. You ain't, you're not supposed to lift your tool upon the altar, which a lot of these churches have done. Go ahead. It says, and he made a trench about the altar. So he made a trench to, to compass the altar. Go ahead. Uh, as great as with certain two measures of seed. Uh -huh. And he and he put the wood in order and cut the bullock in pieces and laid him on the wood. Right. And said, fill four barrels with water and pour it on the burnt sacrifice and on the wood. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Now the heathens didn't even do that when they were calling upon Baal. He said, not only is Yahweh about to come down and consume this offering, I'm about to pour four barrels of water all over this thing, man. So it could be drenched in soap. Go ahead. And he said, do it the second time. <laughs> and they did it the second time. And he said, do it the third time. And they did it the third time. And the water ran about it's a lot. And the water ran round about the altar, and he filled the trench also with water. So he also filled the trench with water, man. Go ahead. He says, uh... Hey, really, man, hey, he was mocking that job. Yeah, he just kept he soaking was, it, like, no matter what you do. <laughs> he was mocking at, he was mocking at the prophets of all. Because basically he was saying, like, hey, there's no reason 
while this offering should it, it should be consumed with fire. There's no reason why this should happen unless I'm calling upon the true power of the earth. 36, and it came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came near and said, Yahweh, power of Abraham, Isaac, and of Israel. That's right, power of the living. Let it be known this day that thou art power in Israel. That's right, that you are power in Israel. Uh, and that I am thy servant. That's right. And that I have done all these things at thy word. Right. Hear me, O Lord, hear me. So now, the prophets of Baal, they weren't heard of their power, of their God. Now Elijah called upon Yahweh, said, hear me, O Lord. He even did it at the right time. Done. Hear me, that that this people may be may know the truth. What's the lie? That the 37, uh, first Kings 18, 37. Hear me, O Lord, hear me, that this people may know that thou art the Lord God, and that thou hast turned their back, their heart back again. Right. So so it said that these people may know that thou art the Lord power, and that thou may may turn their heart back again. Meaning that you may change their mind again, meaning he changed their mind in the first place. That's right. Then the, then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt sacrifice. So the Lord heard him, man. Why? Because he called upon the name of the true power, man. That's right. Because our power is a living God, as you people would like to say. The nation of Israel are the only ones who have a living power in this whole universe, man in the whole existence of beings. Our power is the only one that exists. Not Allah, not Jesus, not Mary. She existed, but she didn't exist as a power. She existed as a carrier. Uh, Deuteronomy 4 and 7. For what nation is there so great who has God so near unto them as the Lord our God is in all things that we call upon him for. That's right, man. And you see that he was in all things that was called upon him for, man. But for all, he didn't say, man. He didn't even answer the phone, man. He didn't even wake up. All didn't even say, what's up, nigga? And what nation is there so great that has statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law which I set before you this day? That's right, man. There's no other nation that has laws that's this great, man. So called white man, he tried to make his laws. He tried to make more than 613 so they could try to equal up to the, to the laws of the Heavenly Father. But the laws of the Heavenly Father are righteous, man. In the Most High's laws, you have no homeless. You have no people starving to death, man. You have no diseases going around because you have no adultery or bestiality. You have no abominable foods being eaten. So you have no real health issues. Right. You have the sanitation of the water still there. So you have no polluted water where you have to put fluoride in it to so-called sanitize it that kills people. Yeah. Go ahead, you got something? Yeah, I was just gonna add that there's a lot of different things that go on in this world that uh that he started trying to do to make it right. Yeah. The most high had it set up perfectly. Gold, gold, gold so like gold in the water, like in the rivers and stuff that all the uh, the uh the 49ers going the yeah, the, uh, what are those dudes? The, uh, the miners. The miners, exactly. That the miners went in there and took up all the gold. But during the gold rush, they took them out the rivers and stuff. That was keeping the water clean. The Most High also has like land sabbaths that so you'll never go hungry because the way that the, the way that the earth uh, uh, grows, that it has six years of growth, and then the seventh you let the land rest and replenish itself. Regain its strength. Regain its strength again. I mean those things were righteous. Kingdom of Judah was living so good over there, they had gold dust in their beards, man. That's why West Africa is more luscious than the rest of Africa. Because it was Israel that was cultivating that land, man. That's right. Because they had laws on how to cultivate it. 
how to let the land regain its strength. Uh, uh, says, then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt sacrifice, and the wood and the stones and the dust and licked up the water that was in the trench. <laughs> and dried up the water too. And when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and they said, The Lord, He is the God. Yahweh, right. He is the God. And Lord, He is the God. Yeah. And, it repeated. It says, and Elijah said unto them, Take the prophets of Baal, let not one of them escape. And they took them, and Elijah uh, brought them down to the brook Kishon and slew them there. That's right, man. So after all this happened, once the Most High showed that he was the true power, man, Elijah, get a, uh, Ezekiel 14 and 9. Elijah took all the false prophets, man, and put them to death, man. Put them to death. So that's what you're supposed to do with a prophet that's misleading your people into destruction, man. You're supposed to put them to death so that your people won't be led into destruction. So your people won't err in the spirit anymore. And just to add to that, that's what's gonna to happen to your church pastors too. Right. They're gonna to be put to death when they're found that they're that they're that they're wicked. Just like they the prophets of Baal, because that's what they're prophesying to. They're the same prophets of Baal also. Yeah. They're gonna be destroyed the same way. You you gonna go in there and do it yourself. It's already, it's We're not gonna do happen. it. Yeah, yeah, it's already started. it's already been happening. Sunday school teachers, bitches getting put to death, man. Yeah. Deacons, you, ministers getting beat to death with guitars. Yep. Yeah. In prominent churches, in y'all prominent churches, TD for the TD Jakes uh Crefo Dollars church had happened. I mean it's been happening. There's member people coming up in the church shooting up churches. And not just in the so-called Negro churches, but in Hispanic churches too. People don't have no fear of, of God, not not of that God. That guy ain't did nothing. It's cause that, that, that guy's not a power to fear, man. That's the God you call on and don't answer. Ezekiel 14 and 9. And when the prophet being deceived, when he has spoken a thing, I the Lord have deceived that prophet. So, so the most high is the one who deceived those prophets of Baal, man. And to believe in that Baal was a power. Why? Because they were wicked, man. The most high, he, he, he's the one who searcheth the hearts of men. So he knows a wicked heart, man. It says, uh, and I will stretch out my hand upon him, and I will destroy him from the midst of the, my people Israel. And that's exactly what he did through the prophet Elijah, man. He destroyed, he humiliated, then destroyed those prophets, man. That's right. And that's what's gonna happen to you pastors and you ministers, man. All you false ass pastors out here misleading these Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all you ministers misleading our people, man, it's gonna come a point in time where these fishers are gonna turn into hunters. They gonna be putting you pastors to death, man. Right. Along with your congregation members. That's right. But we're going to put your congregation members to death too. Because 99% of the time, your congregation members have came across this message at one point in their life, but still chose to follow your wicked ass because you had a smooth speech to give to them. When we had nothing but harsh reality. That's right. Yeah. It says, uh, and they shall bear the punishment of their iniquity. That's right. And the punishment of the prophets shall be even as the punishment of him that seeketh unto him. That's right, man. So the congregation and the pastors, man, y'all gonna get put to death too, man. The whole church is gonna receive a death sentence. 11 says, that the house of Israel may go no more astray from me, neither be polluted anymore with all their transgressions. That's right, man. Cut the wickedness off. That way it can stop being committed. That's right. But that they may be my people and I may be their God, says the Lord Power. That's right, man. I was just going to hit uh, Isaiah 30 real quick. Um, Isaiah 30. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, 31. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me. And who's the rebellious children, man? You Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. But who do you take counsel by? Your false pastors? Your teachers that indoctrinate you in these institutions? Your political figures? Taking counsel by wicked ass Obama? These mayors, these governors, politicians? Taking counsel through these dumbass, faggot ass rappers? 
these R&B singers. These bitches take counsel of Beyonce. Niggas should have put a ring on it. Yeah. Bitch, fuck that ring in you. That ring is tighter than your pussy. And that's another idol worship. The ring itself is, a, ring, is another yeah. idol worship. Yeah. The ring represents the ring of Saturn. See, you motherfuckers, y'all, y'all need to start looking into the things that you're gonna let yourself be indoctrinated by. Yeah. It makes no sense for you to fill your life with a bunch of madness that you know nothing about. And it, it, it's a shame because that just shows us that how easy it is to, to, to manipulate and indoctrinate somebody if you start early enough. Mm -hmm. You don't even that. need facts. You just gotta start early enough. Mark 7 and I'm going to start at 6 anyway. It says, uh, He answered and said unto, unto them, Well have Isaiah prophesied of you hypocrites, as, I, as it is written, This people honored me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Oh, praise God. Glory, glory, Father. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah, Leander, whatever that bullshit <laughs> tell y'all be speaking. But yeah, with your heart, with your mind, man, you don't honor the Father because your mind controls your actions. Right. You don't honor the Father in your actions and in your deeds, man. You honor but all. You honor your pastor that told you the work was all right because of the uh, uh, the, the uh, parable of uh, uh, Paul. That was Paul, right? He had that vision that the unclean beast. Paul rises up here. Peter, 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 Salaki, from the vision of Peter. They try to use that vision in order to uh, justify eating pork, man. And that, if that was the case, why did Peter still deny to eat? Right. He kept, he kept why did he keep Christ? If that's the case, why did he keep denying to eat, man? Because he knows that the Most High wouldn't tell him to eat that unclean beast, man. That's right. He probably had a thought in the head like, hey, man, this probably is not really the Most High telling me to eat this. Nah, but, but the real truth of the matter was he was deep enough to know that that wasn't about eating meat. Exactly. He knew that that was about the men that he was about to meet. That's right. Because the unclean were the Gentiles, the Israelites who were Gentiles at that point in time. Who were spiritually dead. He was deep, yeah, just like the brother said, he was deep enough in the spirit to know that. And uh, uh, I, I like to, you know, through the spirit, I kind of, I kind of figured this, that, uh, the reason he had a, the, uh, the vision of the meats is because he was hungry. Because uh, when you read in that story, he was uh, he was waiting on the food to be finished cooking. Yeah. So he was hungry at the time anyway. Uh -huh. So he so the, the vision came out in the form of meat. Most I do things like that. Anyway, back in this, it says, How be it, this is uh, Mark 7 and 7 now, it says, How be it in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Christmas, like Thanksgiving, Easter. Uh, 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 uh. Hey man, even when you break it down with these types, it's the commandment of men in these churches, man. Right. Because they don't follow any other commandment except for types. They even allow homosexuals to be in your goddamn church nowadays. Man. Adulterous ass women to be in the church nowadays. A woman on her period can go to church and sit right by the pastor, go give him a hug before he preaches his sermon. Man. His wife is right there. And his wife is right there, probably on her period too. With her titties halfway out. And the skirt on that shows her ass cheeks. The reason I read that, brother, was also the, when you was talking about how um, it ties into how, uh, how no matter what age, if you start early enough, you can brainwash anybody through these traditions. It's called tradition. tradition. When you do something over and over and over, they call it tradition. And people rather follow a tradition than follow the Most High God, as it's about to say right here. In 8 it says, For lying aside the commandment of God, ye hold the traditions of men. <laughs> that, that was the point. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to jump down to 9. Well, I'll, I'll read it down. It says, As the washing of pots and cups and uh, many other such things ye do. Matter of fact, that just hit me in the spirit because people say, Oh, yeah, I washed the pot and I washed it. 
But when you cook pork in it, that pot is defiled. When you put pork on a plate, that plate is now defiled. You're supposed to throw that out and burn that. That's just something that kind of popped in my head when I thought about it. You know, like you wash it, you think it's clean, but it really ain't clean. Hey, when you look up the word tradition, it's uh, now, it's, uh, it says delivery, surrender, or handing down. That's exactly what you do, man. You're handing down those traditions of men, but one key word up in there is said to surrender. Yep. Right. As, as he said unto them, full will you reject the commandment of God that you may keep your own tradition. Right. That you may keep the tradition of men. That's what our people do nowadays, man. You 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 reject uh 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 was that Jeremiah 10 or Isaiah 10? Jeremiah 10, fall out of the You reject Jeremiah 10, which clearly describes Christmas in plain sight, man. Clearly decides the, uh, the practice of the praise of Nimrod. I get it right quick. In his penis. Just to, uh, yeah, just, just, to, just to iterate on it. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jeremiah 10 and 1. Hear ye the words which the Lord speaketh unto you. So hear ye the commandment. Because every word that come out the Most High's mouth should be a commandment unto you. That's right. Oh, house of Israel, thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. The commandment, learn not the way of the heathen. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Don't be, don't be scared, man, when you see these chariots flying around, man. That's your salvation. Don't be scared when you see these comets flying around. That's a sign of things to happen. Don't be scared when you see solar and lunar eclipses, man. That's a sign of things to come. And like the one that just was like the one that was just the other day. The moon was larger than it than it ever has been. God. I think it was last night. Larger and brighter. It's called a yep. super moon. Yep. That's a sign, man. Those are signs in the heavens. Go ahead. It says, for the heathen are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are vain. So the, the people have vain customs. Customs for nothing. Go ahead. For one cut at the tree out of the forest, the workmen, the work of the hands of the workmen, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. The axe, the work of the hands of the axe. Mm -hmm. cutting, cutting these goddamn Christmas trees. Down. They deck it with silver and with gold. Same thing you do with a Christmas tree, man. De you de decorate. decorate that much. Right. Deck the halls with balls and jolly. Where the yeah. fuck that song goes, man? <laughs> they fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. So before you had your little Christmas tree stands or your little tripods for these Christmas trees, you would uh, nail pieces of wood to it, to the bottom of it, nail pieces of board down to it, then nail it down to the floor right. so it couldn't fall over. They still doing that. They, you still do it. I remember um, when I first came into the truth. You know, and I, I ain't even gonna say when I first came into the truth because I still allow uh, my BM to do her like basically just this is your last Christmas type bullshit. The Christmas tree fell over three times in the same night, man. In the same night. Yeah, so that's the way of the heathen, man. Following these so-called holidays. These Americanized holidays, man. Christmas, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Easter. Don't none of these uh, holidays incorporate with the Holy Scriptures, man. But tell y'all use the Holy Scriptures to try to back those holidays up. Because you people are wicked. Amos 5 and